Hello, welcome to another video from John. Uh, this one is uh, a follow-up video uh, on request uh, for the Shark NZ850 UK T model. Uh, this is the um, corded upright vacuum cleaner with anti-hair wrap technology. Um, this vacuum cleaner is being used, but it's only mostly being used upstairs, mainly because of the size of the vacuum cleaner uh, and the weight. And it's quite a heavy vacuum cleaner. Um, you've got a good strong handle to pick it up by, but it is very heavy to pick up. Um, and it is easier, a lot easier to maneuver around with a cordless vacuum cleaner. Now, the benefits of this vacuum cleaner are the full line. This vacuum cleaner holds a lot of dust. So you are more than capable of um, being able to vacuum with this vacuum cleaner all of the house without emptying a vacuum cleaner. Um, it's quite amazing really how much this vacuum cleaner can actually hold. Um, suction, suction wise, we haven't got a problem with suction with this vacuum cleaner. It's very, very powerful. Um, you've got um, controls on the top here um, to control what you want to use it for. Majority of the time you're using it on medium power. Um, you will find that um, you very rarely need to turn it on to full power because it makes it very difficult to push. Um, the hose is a very good length. It, it will do the stairs, um, but you do need to position the unit at the bottom of the stairs. But again, with this, you do have what's known as lift away. So you can take this unit, um, this, this part of the unit with the dustbin and the motor with you and on the stairs. So you, you're not restricted by the length of the hose then. Um, like I said before, this is a corded vacuum cleaner. So that means that you are restricted by a mains powered vacuum cleaner. But that, nevertheless, it is a very good vacuum cleaner. So let's get the um, dust bin released. So this is the dust bin. As you can see, it's being used. Um, it's very easy to empty, actually. You just press the button here and you empty it from the bottom. You can empty it from the top. See, there. And obviously, when you empty it from the top, you can clean out the... Um, cyclone as well which can get hair wrapped around that as well all right filters wise now with this particular model um, it's an anti-allergen model so it's got three filters in total um, these are the two um, filters they're not too bad actually which I'm quite surprised of um, but then I am only vacuuming upstairs so um, and it's not a high traffic area so um, but these filters here are replaced are replaceable and washable uh, and then inside here if I can get it open I got it open before the video I did honest oh, for the purpose of the video um, I got that open earlier we'll do that later um, there is a, a filter inside here yeah which is the HEPA filter um, this HEPA filter, it doesn't need to be washed every month. I would say probably every six to 12 months for the HEPA filter. Again, all the filters that I've shown here are washable filters. The only problem is, is I went to get some more filters off Shark recently and they are out of stock for this model. So hopefully they will come in stock. Um, again, they are washable, so it's not too much of an issue. Um, now, to put the bin back on it's very simple just get the cable out of the way and then it clips all back together like that okay now for um using the vacuum cleaner um i've used it um around different rooms upstairs i have done the stairs with this vacuum cleaner and the stairs it does make a very good job of the stairs but you do need to use um the powered attachment So we've got um, wand release here, where we can take the wand off and this just pops off. So there's like a little plastic ball there and that just pops off. Um, we can use that like this. Now, like I said earlier about the stairs, if I was going to do the stairs, I would have to use lift away, which is this button here. You push that button there and you pick it up. Now you might have to put your foot here because it's quite big to stop the brush roll coming up. 
and then you've got your lift away. See, there we go. And there's a the lift away. Um, on here, the buttons, right. So, I have a quick touch on the buttons here now. So, on the buttons here, we've got hard floor, low pile carpet, and thick pile carpet. Now, you adjust it by here. As you can see, it's on a low pile carpet at the moment, which is in the middle. And that's what I find is the easiest setting to use. That said, it does depend on the carpet that you're vacuuming. But on all the carpets I've used it on, I do find that using it on the mid setting um, seems to be the best. Now, the, the higher setting will make it harder to push. Now, the benefit of this as well is you can carry your attachments on the vacuum cleaner. So here, you can see you've got your crevice tool, um, all secure on there. So secure, now you can't get off. Um, nice and secure on there. And then you've got your, your brush, and this is a two-in-one um, attachment, so you can take the brush part off and then it turns into an upholstery clip tool for vacuuming that headboards and things like that okay so the hose is quite long now obviously as you can see it just fell over yeah and that's something that you have to be aware of when it comes to the lift away um, this is a very heavy part of the vacuum cleaner this is not as heavy that's quite light um, compared to the main body of the vacuum cleaner which is a dustbin and that so um, if you were going to use this as a vacuum cleaner for the only cleaner for the whole house then I would say it was a good buy this this would do the whole house and you wouldn't have to buy any other vacuum cleaner you could do you could live with it but you would have to if you were struggling to carry it up and down the stairs I think you probably have to look at using lift away so that you could take it up in two parts so um, so take up the, the heavy part first uh, and then come up with this bit then, which is not so heavy. Um, that said, if I was going to compare this vacuum cleaner to something, um, I do have a Dyson ball, uh, which is something that we've had for a few years now. And that is the main vacuum cleaner for downstairs. That is something that we always use for downstairs, especially because my son makes such a mess my attachments in the way that's why there we go. so you've got to side it on so you've got to get it lined up and this is where you have to have some strength in your upper body to hold all the weight to line it up and this is one of the things that my wife can't get on with this. It's um, quite big and bulky. My mum definitely wouldn't get on with this vacuum cleaner for lift away. So you take the lift away off. My weight on there, stop it. There we go, you've got your lift away off. But to get it back on, you've got to line it up. Slide it and then click it into place. Uh, yeah, it's... Uh, it does require some upper body strength to do that, to get it um, level, but this is a very good cleaner. I have been told that some housekeepers and some people who do cleaning um, like the Shark vacuum cleaners, especially this model, because it's a very powerful vacuum cleaner. It's got good suction, good filtration. Like I said, it's got three filters on it, even though I couldn't get the filter off. Um, it has got three, three filters, which is uh, in there is the uh, HEPA filter. It's got a massive waste bin compared to other vacuum cleaners. So to give you an example, if you were using a cordless vacuum cleaner, the waste bin is probably going to be less than half the size of this. So you can vacuum an entire house and not have to stop and empty. Um, so that's one of the benefits of it. Um, noise levels. I've been using this vacuum cleaner um, and I wouldn't say it was excessively noisy. Um, I've got a number of different vacuum cleaners and I have to say that um, this was one of the quietest upright powered mains cordless vacuum, mains corded vacuum cleaners I've used. Would I, um, how would I compare it to noise? 
Mm. Okay, when I was um, using it um, upstairs one day, my wife was on her phone, and she didn't think the noise was obnoxious. Um, she didn't think the noise was excessive. Um, I mean, when you're vacuuming upstairs, you're not going to be spending too long. You're going to go around, and you're probably looking at 10, maybe 15 minutes tops for vacuuming. Um, so yeah, it didn't seem to make any issues. Um, and, and the noise wasn't um, excessive. Right, so what other things could I say about it? Well, it's dual brush technology, uh, which is dual clean. Again, that's anti-hair wrap technology, uh, which means that the brush roll um, has been designed with fins so that it prevents the hair from wrapping around the brush roll. Now, um, what I found from the maintenance point of view from using it is that sometimes you will still get hair around the brush roll, but you won't get excessive amounts of hair where you have to use a pair of scissors to get it off. You'll find that you might have a little bit of hair around the brush roll, but usually uh, when you use the vacuum cleaner again, um, it that hair comes off and then just gets sucked up and goes into the bin. So I haven't had an issue with anything like that being blocked. Um, maintenance wise relating to filters and that, um, like I said, they're all washable, but I haven't washed the filters since I've had this. They, they don't look in bad condition at all. Um, how many times have I used this vacuum cleaner? Uh, I would say this vacuum cleaner has been used maybe 10 times um, for small cleaning jobs, which is just upstairs. So um, it's not been used for the entire house, but today we're gonna do a demonstration um, and we're going to um, use the vacuum cleaner um, to clean downstairs after my son has been here um, playing. So um, obviously I have put some dust down and this is the dust that's been picked up. Um, from the Dyson vacuum cleaner um, over the last week. So I've decided to put that on the floor and see how this copes with it. Um, I don't see we having any issues with this um, shark at all. Um, if I had to choose a vacuum cleaner to use downstairs for, for all the jobs, so I'm on about um, vacuuming the downstairs, uh, vacuuming the kitchen, dining room, doing the cars, um, I would probably say yes to this vacuum cleaner because it is such a versatile, powerful vacuum cleaner. Um, it gets the job done. But also, if my Dyson ball that I use um, was to fail, and you know, and it was no no longer cost effective to repair, um, I would switch to this straight away. This would be a replacement because this upright vacuum cleaner is definitely um, up there. Um, it is a very good cleaner. Um, yes, it's big, um, but there are benefits with its size uh, and obviously the power. I mean, the bin is one of the biggest benefits where you can vacuum, you don't have to empty it, um, especially if you're vacuuming um, a large area and you want to stop halfway through, you empty the bin. You don't need to do this with this. Right, um, I'm going to stop talking now and what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the vacuum cleaner on and I'm going to check and make sure you can see everything. It's just a vacuum cleaner. You go. As you can see, I've put some. <laughs> um, you don't really notice that. My son's put a nappy in. Um, right. Um, as you can see, um, I put something on the floor, um, so I can um, do a demonstration video of this, and we'll see how it picks up. I'm going to run it in a normal setting, which is medium. Um, and then the other, the other setting is hard floor. So we're going to do in car carpet low, low pile mode. Again, to turn the cleaner on, by the way, is a button at the top of the handle of the cleaner to turn it on. It's just a push button. Uh, there is no LCD display on this vacuum cleaner. Um, you'll get that with, with um, cordless vacuum cleaners, not necessarily a corded.
Right. I would say, as you can see, on the camera, um, bring it here. you can see it's done really well with the dust. And look, it's not up to the max though. It's just about half full, I would say, if that. You could keep going with that easily. Now what we're going to do, we're going to adjust the camera a little bit now. Okay, right. We're going to um, have a quick look now, because anti hair wrap technology, um, some people are a little bit sceptical. Um, some people say that it doesn't work. We're going to see now. Uh, obviously, what I've just picked up now is a combination of all different bits of dirt. I'm going to see what's around the brush roll. As soon as I've used it. Now, as you can see, there is nothing there. There is no dirt around the brush roll or hair. So everything I've just sucked up now hasn't got blocked. It's not stop, stuck. Um, there's nothing stuck inside it. Yep, see, there's nothing stuck inside it. Um, it's sucked everything up into the bin. Something else to be mindful of is, like I said earlier, this is a heavy vacuum cleaner. Um, let's put it on there, see? Um, and then back on here with a wand. And back together. One of the things that's really good with this, which in fact is one of the things why I say that you could live with this vacuum cleaner as an everyday vacuum cleaner just the camera a minute because you can do a wand release and this wand release is such a long wand you can actually use this to reach up to the top of windows to get the cobwebs on the ceiling and things and it's very easy to do and then you just slide that back in and it clips in together very very versatile now as you can see what i've done so far is i've done a little demonstration of what it was like cleaning that mess you can see if i get the camera now let me get the camera now here you can see in a close-up here look at the dust in there look at that see and then where's the max line max line's there you see so it's about halfway so that doesn't need to be emptied um, as you can see the quality of what it's like where you've vacuumed you can definitely see where the vacuum's gone across you can definitely see where i vacuumed to where i haven't vacuumed see so it's, it's definitely made a um an improvement i will say that uh, if I was comparing this to the um, cordless upright vacuum cleaner that I did a review on, I would have to say that the cordless upright is easier to push. Uh, this has got more weight to push because obviously you're pushing the bin, which is the waste bin here. Um, you're pushing that weight around as well. Um, something else to be mindful of as well, and that is that when it does come to emptying the vacuum cleaner, um, you have to take the bin off. Um, so you have to push that button there and the bin comes off, you know? Um, and then you can just go to the bin and empty it. But I have found, as you can see, the, the dirt can get compacted into there. And I have found uh, on an occasion where it's been awkward to get out and I've had to um, find an implement to help me get the dust out. Uh, but you can push from the top as well. So um, that's something to be aware of. But for an everyday vacuum cleaner, um, I would say that this is definitely um, uh, a good buy. Uh, this comes with a five-year warranty um, from Shark. Um, I haven't really found any negative points on it, really. I mean, let me have a... I mean, if I was going to say negative, I would probably say just the weight of the machine. Yeah, um, it is a big vacuum cleaner. Um, again, it's got a big um, capacity bin, so 
um, it's going to generate, it's going to pick up more more waste. So it's going to be a bit heavier. I mean, the benefit of this vacuum cleaner is, is if you're someone who doesn't do, who just likes to do vacuum cleaning maybe every every week or every two weeks, uh, quick around the house and then put the vacuum cleaner back in the cupboard, um, you wouldn't have to empty this for, for a month, <laughs> um, potentially even longer um, before you have to empty the bin. So um, it, it, it does have a massive storage of dust. Um, as you can see inside as well, we haven't actually really got here yet, but if you see that the, the cyclone in there, there's no dust in the cyclone section. Uh, there's nothing in there at all. Um, so it's all going into here. Um, so we haven't um, got anywhere near the max line. So it's, it's done very, very well. Um, um, vacuuming stairs. Um, yes, I have done the stairs with it on a couple of occasions. Uh, again, I've used it in this mode where I... <coughs> excuse me release this <coughs> and then that pops off i use it in the hand attachment um i tend to put the powered brush roll on which is what came with the machine um for the carpet and that does a really good job um again with the upright vacuum cleaner um it's easy when you're using it so if you're going to push it as you can see it's easy but if you were to put it onto the high setting, which is, so you should have got this medium setting here, but if you were to put it on that one and then turn it on, it would be very hard to push. To be honest with you, what I have noticed, only once, but I have noticed, I did put it on the high setting just to see what it was like upstairs. Uh, and it actually turned the brush rolls off. And I think it's like a safety thing where if it feels like the brush rolls are, have got too much resistance. It stops the brush rolls for prevent damage. Um, and I believe that that's what it did. Um, but on the medium setting, I have, I'm have i not crying out for more suction. Um, I find that it, it does really work um, exceptionally well. Um, I suppose if I had to get rid of every single vacuum cleaner that I own, including the cordless vacuum cleaners, um, and I had to just choose one shark, then I would probably choose this one um, because it's very, very versatile, um, but, and powerful, but of course the benefit of it is, is it's got such a good waste um, bin on it, um, you're not having to empty it very often, um, yeah, um, I'll, um, I'll look at ordering some filters for this, but, um, while we're, while we're here, we'll, uh, take the bin off now, obviously what I picked up now was a bit excessive, um, but if we just have a quick look at the filters now, do you see, the filters really have worked, yeah, there you go. That was a little excessive what I did there. So they're all washable, these filters. So I'm um, just running them under cold tap. Don't use soap, by the way, when you clean these filters. Um, otherwise, you won't get the soap out. Um, and uh, it'll just, um, so if you leave soap residue inside a filter, it'll just attract more dust and it'll get dirty quicker. You clog the filters up and you lose performance. Um, if you're someone who's using this, for maintaining houses so for example if you're a landlord and you own multiple properties um, and you're maintaining your properties um, then I would say definitely something like this would be very very good for you however this vacuum cleaner is big um, and if you were driving to different properties you would have to dismantle the vacuum cleaner to get it in the car but it's it's, it's, it's doable yeah um, but if you were going to um, want a vacuum cleaner that was powerful, maybe the cordless canister vacuum cleaner, which you can just make out by there, which is currently in the maintenance. That's right. I've taken the filters out and I've given it all a clean, um, ready for um, next usage. Um, that vacuum cleaner, I have to say, I was very impressed with that cordless canister, uh, that corded canister vacuum cleaner. Um, downsides to it, obviously, is the waste bin. Um, I think it's less than half the capacity of this one, so you would have to empty it more. Um, if I was doing um, a four or five bedroom house, this vacuum cleaner I've got here, I think, would do it without having to empty it. I think you could do the whole house without emptying it. Um, which could save time, yeah. Uh, well, anyway, I think I'm going to stop there now. I don't think there's anything else to do. 
um, at the moment about this vacuum cleaner. I, I'm, I'm quite happy to do another video on it. Um, please like and subscribe and, and put some comments in there if you want to see anything more about this cleaner. Um, um, I can't really say much about it that's bad. Uh, I wouldn't say it was loud. Um, Storage-wise, um, I will just say something actually for storage-wise. So if you look at the gap that we've got here now, that's not a very big gap, is it? Yeah. But... It fits in there. So um, it fits by my little son's... my. So there's a little windy house. So you can store this vacuum cleaner out the way and it doesn't look um, too out of place. It's not massive for storage. If you're someone who's fortunate to have a cupboard um, where you can keep your vacuum cleaner in, um, then yeah, you'd be able to store this fine. I suppose if you had one of those small under the stairs cupboards, which are sort of integrated into the staircase, which you, re you reduce the height, don't you, in those cupboards? Um, you could still store this in the cupboard, but you probably have to dismantle the wand um, in order to get it in the cupboard. Um, yeah, I don't think there's um, anything much to say. Um, Cable-wise, um, the cable is very long, as you can see. Um, I haven't had any issues. I mean, I'm not using it um, uh, at, at the full length at all there. Um, like I said, the benefit of this is the lift away, because you can take the lift away off, go off and do the stairs um and um and leave the base unit behind um yeah all right well thanks for watching and uh and um i shall follow up with another video in due course um and please like i said any comments about this or any other vacuum cleaners or reviews that i've done um please let me know and i'm quite happy to do um follow-up videos all right thanks a lot thanks for watching bye bye bye